Dimitri Engelbert on the left-hand side of the picture with Thomas Zachary alongside. They're looking ahead above the track to the gantry for the green light that says 2009 is go. And we're off. 20,000 horsepower banging down the main straight at Silverstone into turn one. It comes. Zachary's got the jump on Angelbert. The Audis have swapped places, I believe. And everybody else pretty much in grid order as they run down towards Maggots and Beckett's, and it isn't over yet. Angelbert comes straight back at Thomas Eckery, and through he goes, back into the lead. So the Audi's indefinitely in the wrong way round there, and Christopher Mees has got past uh, Nicholas Armindo to take third place. But it's Morgan from pole position leading the Hexis Aston Martin of Thomas Ackery, who we know from last year very, very quick. One of several drivers in with a shout of the title by the time we got to the end of the season. And still in pretty much grid order, number seven there. That's the highest place Ferrari, Paolo Bonifacio in seventh place behind the Morgan of Gale, the Soudier. And the Audi's closing right up on Thomas Ackery and on each other as well. That's going to be a struggle. Those cars have just got quicker and quicker all weekend. They look so well planted in the fast corners, really living up to the R8's road-going reputation. And as he, oh, and there's a spin there going backwards. That's Gail the Soudier. And I think he did that one all by himself. Let's have a look. Yes, just lost the back end of the Morgan. Morgan just getting away a little bit. Well, I think Thomas Ackery's got the gap peg, but he's got mirrors full of Audi. And into the pit comes the 101 car, the Soudier 2 Maxi Martin. It's been an early pit stop. And let's see how they rejoin. This is the race leader at the moment on track. That is the Morgan. And that Aston Martin is going to slot right in behind it. All of those, there it is, just a glimpse of it. So, Johan Boris Shire in the leading car. There is Rodriguez, and there's the Audi right behind. This might be the end of the line for Morgan as well. Pole and race leadership. But that Audi with Christopher Haas at the wheel is going so quickly. Haas, of course, you'll know from GT4 last year with the crossbows, a very accomplished driver, and he made that look so neat and tidy. Found room found track position and just made the pass at a place of his choosing, didn't have to wait. Oh, and that's a shame for Audi in the lead of their first race, and that looks like a wheel-bearing problem. They're looking for vibration. That means Morgan, though, is back in front. So Johan Boris Shire goes back into the lead of this, and now he's just yards away from converting Morgan's first GT3 pole into its first GT3 win. How about that? Morgan takes the chequered flag at Silverstone. Champagne time on the podium, but they do it all again in just a moment. Everything to play for. The pace car has pulled off. They're rolling round onto the start finish line. If the starter is satisfied that all is in order, he turns the light green and round two is underway. Can the Morgan keep the Porsche behind it today? Can he keep the Corvette behind it? Well, Diego Alessi is right alongside Sean Edwards going into turn one. Edwards so keen to get past the pole man that I think he let the Corvette slip through. Side by side, running down the hill towards Maggots, and it's Morgan, Corvette, Porsche, Ford GT, Aston Martin on board with Rodriguez in the Aston Martin at the tail end of that little crew. And the Morgan already making its escape as Sean Edwards is stuck behind Diego Alessi. Yeah. Look at the gap that that Morgan has got now. Just easing away from the rest of the field. They're all having their little battles. There's the surviving Zach Speed Viper and that Sasha Burt going up the inside of yesterday's winner. But there's no problem for Maxime Martin in the lead. And that's the uh, number one. Morgan in the pits getting cold air blown into the engine, which isn't right, really. Here comes the race leader. This is 101. Maxime Martin handing over to Gail the Soudier. Here's the race leader on his last lap. 
Gail Lasudio is going to make it two in a row for Morgan. What about that? Two poles, two race wins. It couldn't be much better for the local team. Well, it's a French team, but the car's made just up the road in Worcester at Malvern Link. There's the chequered flag, and Morgan indeed does the double at Silverstone. Champagne time once again for Morgan, but despite a double success here at Silverstone, the wins were split between the two cars, and that means that the points table isn't quite so appealing. They are tied together at the top with Hexis Aston Martin.